Hello, I'm Paul Seven Lewis and welcome to One Minute Theatre Reviews. In a moment, I'll be reviewing a new audio play by Mark Ravenhill starring Pam Ferris and Toby Jones. But first, just a reminder that you can read my reviews and features about theatre at oneminutetheatrereviews.co.uk. And you can listen to past episodes of my box office radio show about musicals by going to mixcloud.com. Now, I've listened to audio plays all my life, uh, mainly on BBC Radio. Uh, so believe me, it means a lot when I say I have never heard a better audio play than Mark Ravenhill's Angela. It works perfectly as audio because it's about his mother who had dementia and it takes place almost entirely inside her head. Why, in the throes of dementia, does she forget she has a son? Why does she think her husband is trying to kill her? Why does she become violent? In the course of the play, we hear her memories of her unpleasant childhood, her ambitions to be an actor, her miscarriages, and the profound effect of losing her first baby, a girl. There's much about how her love of theatre and encouragement of Mark is at odds with her working-class background and uh, the cause of conflict with her husband and her sister. Central is a moment uh, from Mark's childhood when we see how she copes and doesn't cope with her son, when together they see a ballet film, uh, The Tales of Beatrix Potter, uh, Mark becomes obsessed with dancing the role of Jemima Puddleduck. She identifies with Jemima uh, as someone who is threatened by the world and has her children killed or taken away. It's sad, painful even, but not depressing. Well, that's the minute gone, but keep watching for more about why Angela by Mark Ravenhill is such a worthwhile listen. It's a beautifully written play and sensitively performed in which, while we gain insights into dementia, the disorientation, the imagined world, the confusion of past and present, what is fundamentally important is that Angela remains a person, a human being with thoughts and memories and feelings and the gentleness with which her son and her husband interact with her is heartwarming. The dialogue and the acting in Angela are pitch perfect. I can't speak to the art of getting it right, but, well, I've heard many times when it's been wrong, uh, the dialogue stilted, the acting stagey. But here, uh, when Angela says, for example, I bled the girl away, I, I was made all wrong, um, it sounds natural, and it's spoken with understated passion by Pam Ferris as the older Angela. The other cast members also get the balance of clarity and believability just right. Uh, Toby Jones as her gentle husband. Uh, Matty Houghton as the younger Angela, gradually beaten down by life. Jackson Lang as the young Mark, uh, bright, uh, loving, but oblivious to his mother's anguish even as she tries to support him. Joseph Milson as the adult Mark, caring and understanding how her past shaped her and, and himself. We've all got muddled, imagined things, got angry with each other, he says. And natural is rarely achieved naturally. So I feel that Polly Thomas, a hugely experienced uh, director of radio plays, must have had a big hand in making this one work. The sound too is just right. Um, the minimalist piano music by Alexandra Fay Braithwaite is dreamlike and ever so slightly disorientating, as befits a story that shows the effects of dementia. There's much more in Mark Ravenhill's beautifully constructed play. Uh, Angela's relationship with her sister, who has two boys, and is insensitive as to how that might make the, at the time, childless Angela feel. Um, their mother, a parent who undermines her child. The attachment of blame, the devastating hole left by a miscarriage, and the way it's unexpectedly filled by her love of acting. Um, the play begins and ends with a middle-aged man taking a ballet class. No prizes for guessing who that is. I appreciate this play may mean more to those of us who've experienced firsthand the effects of dementia on a loved one, but I can assure you, even if you haven't, you will be moved by this play and be thinking about it for a long time afterwards. I give Angela by Mark Ravenhill five stars. 
Angela is part of a new season of audio plays from Soundstage, uh, co-produced by Pitt Lockery Festival Theatre and uh, the Edinburgh Royal Lyceum, in collaboration with Naked Productions. Still to come are new plays by John Byrne, Timberlake Wurtenbaker, Roy Williams and more. I can't wait. You can hear performances of Angela from the 26th to the 28th of March uh, 2021 um, and again on the 1st and 2nd of April. Tickets are available from pitlockreyfestivaltheatre.com. Thank you for watching, if you still are. You can be the first to know about my future reviews by subscribing to this channel. Just click on the box at the bottom of the screen. Take care and stay well.